Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nog. Welcome along to another episode of Pencil Puzzled. Hope you're all well. Today we are playing Classic Sudoku with a twist. This is Jigsaw on Simon Tatum's app. And um, regular Sudoku rules apply. This time, however, we are not dealing with three by three blocks. As you can see, we are dealing with puzzle shaped blocks. And as with a normal three by three block, all the digits in the block have to be unique as well as rows and columns. Hopefully I'll remember to link the puzzle I'm playing down below in the description if you want to give it a try yourself. But without further ado, let's start the timer and see how we go. And I don't know how we're gonna get on with this because I've never played anything like this before at all. I normally try to concentrate on blocks. However, I kind of feel this time I might have to concentrate more on rows and columns instead. So I'm just looking around here just to see if I can see anything obvious that might get us started. And I think I can place a nine here. No, I can't place a nine there. What am I talking about? I've already got a nine. Ignore that. That was a bad assumption. Look at nine thinking I need to place one, but no, there's nine there and nine there. Okay, it was a terrible start. Hopefully things will improve. <laughs> and let's look at the set. Okay, we can place a seven though. So a seven can be placed here because these two sevens are restricting everything else. And Okay. To also say a massive thanks to Hugo, who let me know in the comments that with this app, if you switch to a pencil mark and navigate with the arrows, they actually, uh, the pencil marking actually stays on, which is quite interesting. So um, yeah, thanks a lot for that tip, Hugo. Appreciate that. Your pencil sevens in these blocks here. These are the only two places that the sevens can go. Uh, three for the five. We do know that the five has to go in this block somewhere. That's going to rule out to five from here. Place a five there either. And nines are going to be here or there on that row. In fact, I think they're going to be. Oh, let's see if they can rule them out anywhere else. Um, no. So they have to, nine has to go in this block here, which might help us here. So we can pencil nines here for the sake that if we know a nine has got to go in one of these cells here, we've already got a nine there and there. So therefore, these are the only two possible places a nine can go here. Then we can sort of move over to here and we can say, well, actually, we can place a nine here. Because nine is here. This nine sees this nine. This nine sees this nine. That is the only place a nine can go. So we can actually unwind both of those. Places an extra restriction there. So nine now becomes one of two places in this block. Nine's already placed in here, nine's placed in here. So this has to be a nine now, because this block has already got a nine, as has this block. Nine's already in here. So then the only place, I said the only place, then there's three possible, three possible? No, nope. there's only one, no, nope. that can't be a nine, because, sorry, there's already a nine in here. So a nine comes up here, so that becomes a nine and this becomes a nine. That is all our nines completed actually. So, okay. We're making some form of progress at least. Twos can be penciled here and here. Which then means twos have got to be penciled here and here. It's the only two places that can go there. Um, not a lot of other restrictions on the twos at the minute looking at that. 
five. No, we've already got five in that block, so all that. Great. Okay, so three has to sit in one of these cells here. We got three in that one. Two there. Three can be here, here, or here. Then in this block. Which then means three's got to go here, here, or here in this column. Threes are already in here. Threes are already in there. Three has to be placed here by the fact that it sees three in the adjacent blocks. Threes. Place it there. Threes. Multiple places here. Threes are there. There. And three positions there for the threes. Okay. Couple more digits placed. Let's carry on looking. Sevens are restricted to here, which we've already identified. Ones could be anywhere here. All right, sevens have got to go in the one of these threes here. Placed there. Sevens are already in that block. Already placed there. Sevens can sit in lots of places here, which is. Not ideal. Sevens are already seeing there in here. Seven or sevens, two place in this column. The sevens have to go there and there. Is there anywhere looking across at these sevens that is unique to a row or a column? It doesn't look like it. So we place all our nines, just trying to find another number we can try to latch onto here and maybe use. Sixes have to be, it's not six, it's nine. Sixes have to be there or there, which then's going to mean a six has to be in there in that block here, which then places a six here. Okay. Six has to place this block a six has to place in this block starting to get too many pencil numbers and I, I don't know that I like that just going a bit crazy at the minute with the pencil numbers All right, let's think about numbers that can be here and down this row here because this seems to be like our most complete column. We only need four digits here so one, two, four, and six. Six can't go there. One, two, or a four. I have to go there, so that could be a one or a four. Two, six, four. Okay, that's not helpful at all. One, two, six, four. Okay, yeah, not helpful at all in the slightest. Actually, the two can't go there, but ones have to go here. there and there so that that becomes one uh, not sorry because i have penciled more locations um no that's a one seven pair okay it is right so this becomes placed six place four fours are there that's six there one 
two, three, five. So that's a one or a two. What we know there. Looking at fours, I've got to be in here. I'm just hoping to see something else on one of these cells here, but we can't eliminate anything else from there at the moment. Looking at nines again, but I completely forgot that we'd already finished all the nines off. We can look, but we don't need to do anything. Fives are already in there, so I can't do anything with fives. Um, <laughs> ones are there and there. Three places for ones. Three. Pretty unrestricted. Fours. Fours. There or there. There or there. Fours are massively unrestricted. Fives can't go there. Can go there. Anywhere else. Six, seven, eights. really difficult to kind of see and look at the blocks just like having these like irregular shaped blocks is really it really throws your eyes terribly really does have a, a massive layer of difficulty I, I feel for the puzzle Very difficult to sort of latch on to a number and like try and look at all the possibilities and the candidates and things. Ones and sevens. I've got three other digits which are four, six, and eight. So the eights are there and there. Again, those sixes are unrestricted. Fours are unrestricted. Not much more we can do there. Where else can we go? Nine can't be there, can't be there. Well, look at nines again. We have done the nines knock. Forget about the nines. Also, a three has to go in there, there, or there. Three, a five. Three and a five have to go here, and then the one and the two are sort of split here. So if we could identify which number goes where, that would be great. We know three and five can't go here. One, two, four, yeah, too many digits. Eight and three. Only there was another number we could put like force into here. We 
six is already done. It's the same though principle with this. I mean, we know a three's got to be there. Six in one of these four cells here. Ones can't be there. Or Anywhere. Maybe three or four. One, two, four. I mean, the only number that we know a two has to go here. I mean, that's all we know about that. One of those numbers is a two. And then we have ones or anywhere. Well, obviously, it can't be two, can't be three. Fours are anywhere. Fives are anywhere. Sixes are nowhere because we've already got six. It's got a seven. Eights or anywhere. Ones, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Doesn't isolate anything other than the sixes on the middle row. Pause. Six. We already said six on the top row. Sevens and eights. So many numbers. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. Probably seven, we've got seven. Can't be two, two has to feature on this here or here. And for any other like unique candidates that it could be. Um, Five has to be at the top. Take away the fives from there. Five can't go to the top here and it can't go in the top there.
This is five. Five? Uh, no, not necessarily. Five is there or there. Problem is, I've got so many pencil marks now, it's going to get difficult to um, see what I am and I'm not, what I am and I'm not doing. Sevens. Three. Five sevens are done. Eights. Just identify two candidates here, but here and here. The nice thing would be that was a two, that's a four, seven, which would help us. That would be a three, five, that was two, four, seven, three, five, one. What other numbers can we put here? One, two, all right. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. <sighs> now eight's got to go here. Is this the only place the six can go? Hold on. Yes. Okay. That's a six. It means this is an eight. No, it can't be an eight. Hold on. Let me undo that move a minute. Let me go back. Can't place an eight. One, two, four, seven. Yeah, okay, so this is a six. We placed something. We placed something else. <laughs> All right, sixes have got to be quite restricted now, then, surely. Well, here, here, we're here and here. That's the only place left for sixes. I think we've placed sixes in all the other columns. No, six is still in play at the top here. And in one of those cells there. Okay, so not. Okay. That would be an, not the result I was hoping for. Seven, eight. 
trying to see whether or not there was like something going around that I could have identified there, but there's a look here. Okay, let's look in this. Let's try and fill in the blanks here. So that's a one and seven. This could be a one or a four. One, four, eight. That's a one or a four. What else we got here? Four and a two. One, two, four. Okay, I've missed something. Here, this has to be a three. Because of this three blocking off these three and this three blocking off these three. This is a three. That's a seven. No, it's not necessarily a seven. That's not only a three and a seven, is it? This is where I've got to be careful. Yeah, that could be a whole host of other things. So no, that's not the case there, but it has eliminated one of the candidates for that six, those these sixes here. Okay. Very slow going, guys. I do apologize. I am trying. <laughs> I'm trying. So, um, Threes have to go in here or here. One in this block, one in this block. Can't go here, can't go here. One in this block. So threes have to go there. That becomes a five, eight pair. Okay. Six is there or there? One four eight, one four eight. We know one of them's got to be a five, so we can take out fives from here and here. Wait, five. Okay, so the five has to go here, and the reason the five has to go here is because if this was a one four eight triple we take away the one here and the four here and the four here and the eight here that doesn't work because we can't place a two twice so i can i can confidently say this is the five so it leaves with one four eight one four eight two and then the other digit is going to go in here All right, let's fill in the other digits here. Hold on. Two one four eight. 
with a wand. One. All right, let's fill in these digits. One can't be a one. It'd be a two. In fact, it is a two because it's the only place in this column now we can place two because of the block restriction. Two, four. Hold on. Hold on. No. I've got to be careful with these pencils. I don't know. Is that the only place two and a four can go? Well, actually, yes, it is in this instance. So that is a four. That's a one. That's a two. Okay. Sevens. Seven could go there. Okay, we still don't really know a lot about that. We can take out the one from there, though. The seven. Yeah, that would still work. Okay, that's fine. Moving on. Slowly, slowly. But well, we're getting there. Hopefully. Thoroughly confident, honestly. Well, this is a seven. I missed that. Completely missed that. Because we got the one in this block. Take away the one from there. That leaves this is the only place for a one here. This become this becomes fours and eights, which leaves that as a two, that as a one. Take away the one from there. Take away the two from here. That becomes a one. Take away the one from here. Just placed a seven, so that's a four and an eight. Um, Breeze, go anywhere. Eight has to go here for sure. So we know an eight has to go in this column here. Eight is there. So that makes that a four. That makes that an eight. We can take out our eights from there. So here we have one. One. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight. This has to be a seven. Here we have a three, four, three, four, eight triple with these ones up here. A six and eight it means this has to be our seven. Almost there. We're getting close. I need to look at some of these pencil markings though and see if we can actually take out any of the numbers we have filled in since obviously pencil marking these because we have placed quite a few digits. That was a four and that was a three, eight, 
two, five. I'm thinking ideas out loud in my head there. Okay, let's look down here. Well, actually, we can do more than that. We can place a three there. Oh, sorry, a four there. That now becomes a three, eight, which means that's a four. That's an eight. That's a four. We got the fours. Got the eight. Okay, six, seven, and our other number here in this column is a two. That becomes our seven. This is a two, six pair. Rule out the seven from there. That becomes a five, eight pair. So we can rule out any other five, eights here. That, we missed that, but that has to be a two. So that is a four, that is a three, that is a seven. That becomes a one. This has to be three because of the two and the five and the eight. Take out the three, that's a two, five. What else can we take out from here? Threes, fours. Yeah, so two, eight, and five. Can't be a one, can't be a three. This is a five, two, five, five, eight. Okay, this one here, six, one, five, two. Five, that's a six, eight pair again there. That one. We are almost there. We are almost there. Threes and eights. Fours and twos. Six. And what finishes that off? It is a three. Eight. Six, eight, ones, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Holy, ooh, that was a tough one. I quite liked it though. For like a difficulty, it's um, it just does add that like extra layer of difficulty to the puzzle. Uh, we solved that in um, 37 minutes and 44 or 45 seconds, you can pretty much say. But yeah, no, really enjoyed that. It was a real challenge and I will definitely be playing some more of this jigsaw again. Guys, thank you very much for watching though. I appreciate the support. As always, leave your comments down below and uh, if I missed anything obvious, please do let me know. If you've got uh, if you've got questions of how I work stuff out and I wasn't quite clear, again, do let me know. I do like answering your comments. But until next time, guys, I've been Nock. You've been awesome. Take care, stay safe, happy gaming.